White House has strongly rejected a blog post by Pulitzer Prize winning journalist Seymour Hirsch on the Nord Stream gas pipeline explosions. The report points fingers directly at the United States of America and President Joe Biden, openly alleging sabotage under the White House's orders. Dismissing the report, White House termed Hirsch's report complete fiction. Echoing similar denial, the Central, uh, the Central Intelligence Agency called the report utterly false. Russia, meanwhile, has called on the U.S. to give a more detailed explanation and answer questions raised on its role in the explosions. Moscow has repeatedly said that West was behind these explosions that hit the Nord Stream 1 and 2 pipelines, while the Western countries have blamed Russia. However, investigations by Sweden, Denmark and Germany have not pinned the blame on any country. Now, citing an unnamed source, award-winning American investigative journalist Seymour Hirsch said that Americans planted remotely triggered explosives that wrecked three of the four pipelines built to carry natural gas from Russia to Europe. Hirsch further alleges that the U.S. Navy divers laid bombs on pipelines running under the Baltic Sea between Russia and Germany last June and detonated the bombs three months later. The report further claims that the U.S. Navy conducted the operation under the cover of a NATO maritime exercise. He even indicts the U.S. president directly. Hirsch claims that the decision to bomb the pipelines was made by U.S. President Joe Biden with the aim of cutting off Moscow's ability to earn billions from natural gas sales. He writes that the idea first came up in December 2021 among Biden's top security advisors.